Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have the December craft and tea box a little bit early for you. I know usually I am kind of rushing to get it up by the end of the month because you always have until the end of the preceding month to order the next month's box, but you are getting the December box a little bit early. Now I know that there are some of you who like to be surprised with the craft and the teas, and there are others of you like me who are a little bit nervous sometimes about the craft or can get really excited about certain crafts. So you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. I think this is one you're gonna to want to definitely be subscribed for because it's definitely a seasonal craft and it's one that I think a lot of people can enjoy. So it might be a good option for a gift as well because while this can be designed to be a little bit of me time, a little solitary time where you brew your tea and do your crafting in your own little nook, it could also be a really fun gal pal night as well. So. Here's what the box looks like these days. They've got this cute little sticker that says, time to infuse your creativity. I think that's what it says, infuse your creativity. And let me just tell you all of the pricing rundowns on this. So it is 58 Canadian per month, which right now is around 45 US, I would say, and around 37 pounds because they do now ship to to the UK as well. And then the shipping is $8.95 Canadian within Canada. The shipping is $6.95 Canadian to the US, which is only around $5.25. So you can get this box for just barely over $50 US, which I think is pretty good. And of course, I think there are some price breaks if you do a multi-month subscription right up front. And then it is $10.95 Canadian shipping to the UK, which is about four and a half great British pounds. So. I have a code for you. It's Noel25, and that will save you 25%. As always, I'll leave the code as well as the link to the site in the description box below. But with all the boxes that I'm opening right now, especially for those of you who are looking at gifts to send to loved ones who live a little bit farther away, of course, you want to be watching for those sales. If you do wind up getting a box and using a different uh, code, that is by all means, save money where you can. If you happen to use one of my affiliate links, that would be really, really helpful. And even if you don't, don't, if you just let the box know if it is a box that you found on my channel, if you just shoot them an email or let them know when they ask you in the form fill, that would be super helpful just so that they know that you are um, finding boxes that you enjoy and want to gift or share with other people on my channel. All right, let's see. Opening it up, just some blue tissue because it kind of matches the logo, of course. And then we do have our product card. So the last box I opened, the product card was missing, so you didn't get to see the full color uh, presentation. It says it's time to get crafty, and they did a very nice black like ornaments around the edging. I feel like I saw this maybe in, in Canva, which I use a ton too for my thumbnails, so always looking for inspiration. So a little inspiration here from Sam, which is great. It says your December box has arrived. Whether this is a Christmas gift from someone special or a gift to yourself, you deserve this creative break from life enjoy my friend I love that idea about this box and then on the back it tells us the theme the theme is oh Christmas tea they're getting really cute with the theme so I feel like it used to just be like the name of the craft and like you know the last one the Brudolph that was cute and now it's oh Christmas tea like you kind of have a lisp or you've lost your front teeth so it says this month as it's Christmas we have given you three teas to try we really just couldn't pick only two of them which is, this is amazing because once upon a time you only got one tea and now we get two teas and for this month you're gonna get three teas and look they're so festive they look so nice with these foil it looks like the pretty glass ornaments that are around the edging so so cute so i'm going to prop this up in front of me and uh, you probably saw it in the little circles on the corners what the craft was this is a very accessible craft this month which i'm very excited about because last month's craft the amigurumi i'm a little bit nervous so i might pass that one on to someone else since uh i, don't, I have no crocheting skills at all all right so i'm going to show you maybe one tea and then the craft and then the other teas right so these are all from Steve's Artisan Teas, which I think we've gotten teas from Steve's in the past in crafting tea boxes, and they are awesome. So the first one I'm going to show you, now they didn't have the uh, red, gold, and green um, foil packaging. These are all in like craft brown packaging, but still, who cares? It's the good, the good stuff's on the inside. So the first one I'm going to show you is a Christmas blend. They're all Christmas blends, obviously. Gingerbread black tea. I love gingerbread, honestly. I think it's delicious. I used to make really, I like the kind of thicker, chewy gingerbread. Like, I don't like it to be, you know, too crisp. You only want it crisp when it's like for structural integrity for your gingerbread houses. 
That would be really fun. I feel like gingerbread houses are kind of a craft, so it'd be fun if we ever did like a like a mis mashup of crafting and baking, right? So it says, dive into freshly baked gingerbread cookies in a cup with this holiday delight. Mmm, so luxury black tea, ginger, cinnamon, cocoa beans, safflower petals, chamomile, star anise, and natural flavors. So this is what that looks like. Mmm, that's gonna be good. Makes me wanna make gingerbread. And my secret to my gingerbread bread recipe, which I found like I think in a magazine a long time ago and now I've since lost it, was you know, using just a little bit of orange peel to give it that little bit of freshness. That made it really good. I missed doing that. I missed making all the royal icing and doing all the decorating. And now people are so fancy with their decorating, their sugar cookie and gingerbread decorating. I would get, I would take, it would take me like hours. That's another good craft to do. Cookie decorating. Um, I know that there are boxes that do that. Ooh, this is a different kind of bag. Um, I'm going to show you this one too and we'll save one. But look, so this is the, like kind of with a little gusset on the bottom. So it kind of sits up nicely. This is, I'm into this one. Candy Cane Lane Black Tea. I love black teas, honestly, because I like the caffeine. It says, everything a Christmas tea should have, a minty winter wonderland in a cup. Now that sounds love. I love peppermint tea. I think it's delicious. So here's what we got. Candy Cane Lane, a minty wintry wonderland in a mug. So very cute. I even like the image behind it. It makes me... I know, I think they've got whipped cream on there. Oh, marshmallows. They put like marshmallows on there. It like, looks like hot cocoa. But I don't think I would put marshmallows in my tea. But I like the idea of having something marshmallowy and chocolatey beside my peppermint tea for sure. All right, let's see. I got another card in here. Maybe we got doubled up cards. Oh, you know what? I bet that's what happened is I got two of these cards, info cards, and she probably thought that she was putting like an extra card in the November box or something, but I wound up with two of them this time around. That's funny. Okay, so this month you'll be making three beautiful Christmas ornaments to hang on your tree. So three teas and three Christmas ornaments. It says you'll be creating them with your own design or you can follow from the instructions provided. So they all came wrapped up. They're like wood uh, wrapped up in some bubble wrap. So let's go ahead. I'm wondering where the instructions are. It's probably, I'm guessing on a QR code. Let me see if there's a QR code or maybe this second dairy one was supposed to be the instructions. That's what I'm guessing was the case because I don't see any instructions or a QR code. Huh, interesting. Well, this is kind of neat. So they're like in three pieces. So they're showing um, in the image, I see a mitten, a tree, and a snowman. And I've got three snowmen. So this, they're like in three pieces. So it's, you can see this one. This is the cutout. I love that somebody did the word burning and cut out for us. So it says warm winter wishes. And then we have this piece that is just the outside edge. I think that gives it a little bit more, um, you know, a little bit more depth. Is that what I'm trying to say? So you would actually put that one in between. And then there's the one that goes on the back. So there is an outline. So you can see that that's the front piece. So I think you do this. So there's a little three dimensional element to it and then probably glue it together. And of course you can paint it however you would like. So you can have the different borders. That's kind of fun. So that middle piece that's just the outline doesn't do really do anything, I don't think, except for give it a little bit of depth. So that's kind of cool. So you can have a, you could do a whole like winter design in the background of the lettering and you don't have to worry about kind of trying to go around the letters and make it nice and neat. And then the letters you can just paint in whatever single color you would like or vice versa. You could do like ombre on the letter piece and then do like solid for the backer piece. You can play around with doing either one. So it looks like, okay, so it says you'll be making three beautiful Christmas ornaments. But what happened is I wound up with two snowmen sets. So two snowmen sets. Here's what that looks like. So I'll put them all together. I got two of these guys. I did not get a tree or a mitten and I only got two ornaments, but it's enough to show you what it looks like, right? So here is one. Here's the tree. Let's see if I can get that to focus for you. And that one says happy holidays. You can see that there. And then here, let me see if I can show you in the corner. You're going to get a little bit of glare. So there's the mitten. There's the tree, there's the snowman. I don't know if the mitten actually says anything. The mitten must say something, but I can't quite see it in the image. But then you can see on the top what they did. Oh, it says, let it snow. So you can put the words in like one color. So they did 
let it snow in white and it shows up with the mitten in the red in the background so kind of fun I like that but let's see what the other items are that allow us to create our beautiful piece so we did get some twine for hanging up the ornaments there's three pieces of twine again I only got two ornaments um, we have this nice little like stamp brush like a sponge brush I guess to do like bigger pieces or maybe that's for applying the glue that puts everything together and then we got three paint brushes and then finally we got Ooh, these are these are nice so we did get a little pot of glue of wood glue which is great and then these are really nice colors and you can see they all have like holiday names like that so we have holiday green green grass uh, bright gold sailing sky so that is fun wine <laughs> don't don't get confused uh, drink your tea not your wine paint so we got two nice rows of it so let's see that is 12 different beautiful colors lots of greens lots of blues and silvers ivories um, all the colors that you would want for the holidays how pretty I'll definitely do that because that's an, like an easy craft for me to just sit down with a nice you know maybe something on the back in the background either a playlist or you know watching a good Christmas movie because it is the season for cheesy Christmas movies and of course my nice a cup of tea and then I'll have two snowmen but what I could do is I could make it into sort of a let's see I did that one wrong let me put the top piece on correctly you guys I don't know why that was so hard for me to figure out I do think the mitten and the tree are really cute but I did wind up with two little snowmen I'm pretty sure that if you order this box you're gonna get one of each of them so you would wind up with nine wood pieces right the written part the middle spacer and then the background part so really fun craft night you could do it with like three friends or two other friends you could each make an ornament I thought this would be kind of cute because maybe my husband wants to paint one we can have little matching snowmen that might be kind of cute um, I think now normally I'm like a traditionalist and I would paint the background white and like do a little carrot nose and everything but I think you wouldn't see it because the warm goes over the snowman's face so I don't know but at the same time you want it to look like a snowman and not look like stacked ornaments or donuts or a like blobby tree so I might have to make him look more like a snowman what did they do this person kind of did like bluey white so it looks like snow so I might have to do that and then maybe one of them will be a little bit more wild and adventurous because usually we get more of a classic tea and a wild card tea so maybe I'll have more of a classic snowman ornament and then a wild card uh, snowman ornament so that's fun so let me see I should have checked with Sam and asked her when I uh, kind of took a quick peek to see if the cards were in there so I don't have my instructions but it's kind of self-explanatory I do think I figured it out and I just got the two snowmen instead of the you know di the device the diversity I didn't get a diverse box that's okay but it came with the paint the glue the brushes the little sponge paint um, I don't think I need the directions sometimes I don't follow the directions anyway because I'm really bad about that but let's you guys have a secret password because these are really fun to do as well so let's have our secret password be winter I know because it's 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 almost here for some of us it feels like it's here already so winter is going to be our secret password if you're new to it when you come across a secret password in one of my videos you want to enter it along with your contact information in the Google form listed for you in the description box below enter it and then at the end of the month I go through and I use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive a mystery box as a way of saying thank you for watching all of my videos you have to be 18 years or older you have to have a US or Canadian mailing address and it is in no way affiliated with YouTube or any of the boxes that I open here on the channel just my way of saying thank you and again the secret password for today which I think it's actually been one of the secret passwords in the past but it is winter so go ahead and enter it I think it's around the seventh or eighth secret password that's been listed so far this month just to give you guys a hint if you've been keeping track we got our brushes I think this is gonna be a really fun craft pretty easy one to do and I think you guys will enjoy it as well let's take a look though at our final tea of course which is still from Steve's Ooh, this sounds good I'm, I'm ready for the holidays you guys it is a holiday spice eggnog black tea sit back relax and sip on this velvety blend of nutmeg and vanilla in this holiday classic so again a black tea with cinnamon ginger pieces ooh, cloves cardamom and natural flavors so all black teas this time around all good cozy warm drinks I feel like this one you could almost put a like nip of something something extra in there uh, to make <laughs> to make that snowman come out even wilder and even crazier so I hope you all enjoyed this video I think this is a really fun craft this season very low pressure you know definitely get your creative juices flowing but without uh, having to uh, cross your eyes and 
<laughs> look too carefully at your crocheting where your reindeer starts to go a little bit wonky, which is what I think would happen for me. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please help me out by giving it a thumbs up. I would truly, truly appreciate it. Remember, you have until the end of the month or until they sell out. So if you're kind of thinking about it, you think this might be a good gift to send to someone else too. You could even do like a Zoom call and like have a craft night with your buddy that lives across the country. I think that would be adorable. Then you want to go ahead and order it as soon as possible. And I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.